What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Moderx, and as you already know, Google just released Android 9.0 P. The official name for Android 9.0 is Pi, and you won't be able to actually get this on your Galaxy S9, Galaxy Note 8, Galaxy S8 for quite some time. It could be a month, it could be even more than a month, but you can get the look and feel of Android Pi on your Galaxy S9 or other Galaxy device right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the Android 9.0 theme and launcher to your Galaxy S9. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we actually have a lot going on here. There's several things that we will apply to our phone to get the full Android 9.0 Pi experience on the Galaxy S9. The first thing that you'll do is you will add this navigation button. In Android Pi, you actually have the option to do away with the traditional home back in recents and replace that with a single gestures button. The way that we're going to get gesture navigation is by using XDA's navigation gestures. You can grab that in the Play Store. They have both a free version and a paid version. If you do decide to grab the paid version, it's just going to unlock an extra couple of navigation gestures. Uh, you'll be able to pull down the notification shade, quick setting tiles, open the power menu, and there's a few other media navigation options here. You don't actually need the paid version. You can just download the free version right here. Once you have the application installed on your phone, you launch it, it's going to give you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the navigation gestures. So out of the box, you have a few options here. Um, if you swipe over to the left, it's going to take you back. So we can go into the search feature here. And then if I swipe left, that's going to take me back to home. If I press the button, that's going to take me to my home screen. By default, if you swipe to the right, that's going to bring up your recent apps. But if you want it to be more like true Android Pie, you can actually set it up to where a swipe right brings you to your previous app and you can switch back and forth between your last two apps, like so. Of course, the way you'll set that up is we'll go into the application itself, go into settings, go into gestures, and if we go to swipe right, you can just select previous app. By default, it's set to recent apps. And then here under swipe right and hold, I set that up as recent apps. That way it's more like true Android Pie. So if we go back home, swipe and hold, that's going to bring up our recent apps. In order to hide the navigation bar, you'll have to input a simple ADB command. My buddy TK actually has a full in-depth guide of how to set this up, and I'll be sure to link to his video in the description. But essentially, if you uncheck that, it's gonna bring back your standard navigation bar, and you'll wanna make sure that you do uncheck that before uninstalling this app, or it may be difficult to get your standard navigation bar back. Okay, the next thing you'll notice here is we've done away with the TouchWiz launcher. We now have the Pixel launcher. If I swipe up, that brings me to the application drawer where I have my applications in alphabetical order. I've got a search option to search through. If I swipe all the way to the top and then swipe down, that takes me back home. If I swipe over to the left, that's going to bring me to the Google Assistant page where I've got all of my information cards and I have quick and easy access to the Google search bar there. And then we also have the Google search bar here at the bottom. You can also see here it has the Google date and calendar widget there at the top. To get the Pixel Launcher installed, head to the link in the description, download the Pixel Launcher and simply install it whenever you press the home button. It's going to ask you if you wanna switch from TouchWiz to Pixel Launcher, you'll select the Pixel Launcher and select always that will install the pixel launcher as you can see here we've got lots of android pi wallpapers to choose from this is as simple as installing the wallpaper application from the play store there are actually several apps that you can choose from i just went with the first application listed under android p wallpapers if you want to go really deep into the theming, you can actually add Android Pi ringtones. The way you'll do that is head to the link in the description, download the Android P ringtones, and then you're simply going to go into your settings, go into your notifications, go into your sounds and vibration, go into ringtones, and where it says add, click add, and then you will go into your folders, find the folder that you just downloaded, and then you'll be able to add any of these ringtones that you like. Okay, and the final bit of customization to make this really feel like true Android P is 
the volume slider from Android Pie. Android P volume slider is the application that you will need to download. And if you go to the default slider here, you have some options. So whenever you press your button here, it's going to give you several options. I've got it set to auto that way. If I'm at the home screen, it's going to control my ringtone and notifications. If I'm actually playing a video, it's automatically going to change the media. And then there's a quick access in your quick tile settings where you can control any setting of the audio that you like. If you wanted to go a little bit deeper, you could actually theme your settings and different aspects of the user interface. The way you would do that is download and install Substratum. Once you launch Substratum, it's going to give you the option to download an add-on. That add-on is $2, and then you can purchase whatever theme you like. For whatever reason, I could not get the specific add-on of Substratum to work with the Galaxy S9. Maybe you will have different results, but I just was not able to make that portion work. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I will see you in the next one.